Yes, hello everybody, this is Ray from Race United and I'm back, as I promised you, Pi to go Services executives are here, uh, albeit four of them, but hey, it's all good, I expected less and I have more than I bargained for, so I'm so happy guys, you're going to hear a lot from them and uh, they will be as open as they can, we all know Pi to go has been around since 2021, the first Pi Hackathon, um, they, were, they were one of the main uh, winners of it, and so listen, um, when we come back, you're going to hear a lot from there. I'm not going to waste your time. Smash the like button. Smash the subscriber button. When I come back, it's on. Yes, um, so the pie to go people are here, the executives, and uh, they're all welcome. I'm going to uh, go around the room and get them to obviously introduce themselves to us. And uh, from then on, we'll just, you know, go on and uh, uh, get them to answer a few questions. Obviously, put your comments uh, in the live chat section or afterwards, if you're watching, just put it in the comment section and uh, I'll try and answer as many questions as I can. Listen, I'm going straight to the point. So I'm going to go around the room and ask uh, my fellow guests one by one. Um, so starting with Carlo, um, your, uh, can you give me your respective journeys um, in the Pi Network project? Just the Pi Network project, starting with Carlo. Okay, if not Carlo, let's go to um, uh, Vicky, which is Pi to go yes. Travel. Yes, Ray. I'm Vicky Mchuma. I'm the the project leader of pi to go So I would wish that I uh, introduce the whole team who are around here, <clears throat> so that you can have a view. I have the whole the whole journey for each and individual who is representing representing yes. here. So uh, starting with Carlo. Carlo is our social media content manager. And uh, he, he has been helping, supporting pi to go on a voluntary basis since 2021. That's right. before Hackathon, yeah. So pi to go started this journey in 2021 before Hackathon. The story starts there. Right. The strategies were found there. The founder of pi to go is Carl Chang from Taiwan. Right. If you are aware of that. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah okay uh, the the is from is from ta taiwan carl chang uh i'm the project leader at the moment because he gave me all the rights with the pi core team to lead the project so i'm the oldest member in pi to go we started together with carl chang right later uh we met with uh Purity Gaki was helping on human resources. In. Also, we went ahead and met with Mash, uh, Muhammad Abu Bakar, mm. who is a brother from Nigeria. Also, right. he had idea, an idea to for pioneers to travel with the with Pi. So we had a, a same project, a, a different project on travel idea. So we met with that guy build together the, the idea and still we're here together uh carlo we met later after muhammad abubakar he's volunteered for pi to go and a uh, very good enthusiast uh, enthusiast on pi network and pi to go so carlo i uh, i know is a strong a strong guy and has been managing twitter and all the other media platforms on our, con our content, the post for the content, so he manages the content for Pi to go. Mashne is our uh, the Ma Muhammad Abu Bakar, the one you see there, is our public relation manager. Right. He helps. Uh, he helps to for, for for other members to understand us more on the public relation terms. Right. 
Yeah. So Isaac is our CTO, is our chief technology officer, but he has not made it for for the meeting today. Just got a a message for him. Mm. So mm. he sent the apologies. But we no worries. Him. Yeah, he he applied for voluntary. There's a time where we advertise the voluntary tasks for pioneers to apply and then to support the project because at the moment we still volunteers. No one is yeah. getting paid. No one uh, is. Everybody is working on the goal for the pie and the pie to go. Right. So he came in later, supported the development. We teamed up together. And that's why you see this strong team here standing here with a history behind it. Yeah, that's that's quite interesting. Um, I'm I'm really ecstatic, you know, having having this interview with you. Um, I I've always known Pi to go to be a very um, creative, innovative sort of uh, uh, group, but I I, I never ever uh, actually thought that I was gonna have any interviews with you until recently. Somebody recommended that I need to have uh, an interview with. Uh, um, all of you, if I could do it as a group, or even if one of you, it does, it didn't matter. And I thought, well, it didn't matter to me. I'll give you the choice to choose how you want it to be, whether you wanted to come in the group or, or as a team, or you wanted to come uh, as one person representative of all of you. And in this case, uh, we, we're all lucky viewers. We're lucky to have uh, at least three of them here. Carlos' um, network seems to be met messing up, so he's at the background, but the moment his network sorts itself out, I'll bring him back in. So, um, listen, people, I am so happy that we, we have you. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to play the 30-second uh, pi to go summary before we get into the nitty-gritty. So, you know, strap your seatbelts, people, and let me play that 30 seconds. I think some of you have already seen it on Twitter. pi to go posted it. I also posted it on their behalf as well. And so, listen, I'm just ecstatic. I want to see what, what we're going to talk about at the moment. Um, I will throw the question, and then whoever wants to set the ball rolling can start. I'm not going to uh, specifically give it to any of you because this seems to be so general. So, obviously, um, I was going to ask how and when did you all meet and how was the planning of pi to go services set into motion? Now, obviously... Um, the, the, the top executive, which is, uh, in this case, I think, uh, Vicky, um, said something about that. It's a summary. So let's go around the room and let's start asking. Um, Mahmoud Abubakar, um, you set the ball rolling with that. How and when did you all meet and how was the planning of pi to go services set in motion? Well, we met around 2020, I think, ending of um, the beginning of 2021, um, during the hackathon 2021. Um, I started a project called the Pi Travel Agency, which um, wasn't successful due to, you know, um, some issues about development and, and fiat issues. So... We had been communicating with the founder of uh, pi to go right. who is, uh, um, I, I think I don't have to call his name. Um, no. We have been communicating. Um, there's no need, right? No, no need. Yeah, we have been communicating with him about my project as well as his own. So we, have been sh we had been sharing ideas. Um, that's where I met Vicky. I joined the group and... Before the hackathon ends, I couldn't complete my project. So I was able to join the pi to go travel platform. And we exchanged a lot of ideas and we brought out what is here. I think this is just a summary of what happened. Right, right, right. So so that's definitely uh, 
from your perspective, which is understandable, um, um, obviously, Mahmoud. Uh, but let's see what Purity has got to say from uh, uh, his or her perspective. Yeah, can you get me? Oh, yes, I can hear you clearly now. Yes, I'm saying uh, my journey in pay to go started in 2021 before Hakadon right. when uh, they needed uh, somebody to chip in and help in some tasks that were required during that time. Mm -hmm. So I joined uh, pay to go when we were the three of us, that is the oh, founders, okay. the two founders, and uh, I was the second one. So yeah. I joined and started uh, the volunteering task of human resource manager right. uh, until we won the Akadon. And from there, I continued being the human resource manager until now. I can say pai has been having consistent and uh, patient and uh, very hardworking uh, volunteers who, has, who have been helping us until where we are today. Yeah. And we are still progressing with the work until we make sure that pioneers will get the best services from us that we are planning to offer so much and so much more that are coming from us. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, uh, I'll keep you there. I'll keep you there. Uh, I, I'll, because, you know, me, I, I've been excited about pi to go you know, because obviously your, your services seems so um, uh, interesting and appealing. Uh, uh, amongst others, of course. But the one thing that I feel uh, I want to ask you is, how was it? How was the feeling when uh, you know you, you got to know that you were one of the the winners of the 2021 Pi Hackathon? And I'll still ask you, Purity, before I go to. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll ask uh, Purity, and then I'll go to um, uh, Vicky. Purity, how was your feeling uh, when you won the Pi Hackathon? 2021 actually according to me this project project has been a, a huge project that we had so much confidence in it and during that during that time that we were competing we knew we have a valid and a valuable uh, project that that will attract more and it, it was a good idea that uh, could already help pioneers to engage so much more so according to me we were ready for the winning. We were committed and the project that we were developing was not a joke. So the commitment was there, the prayers were there uh, that pushed us, but we believed so much in this project that we knew we wouldn't fail. Let me say like that. We were so sure, we prayed so much and we committed all our energies that we, we could not guess of a failure. Yeah. Nah. Failure is definitely not an option. Uh, that's really good. Um, obviously, Vicky, well, how about you? Yes, uh, I will say, first I'll say I thank God because actually it was a very, very uh, hard journey for individuals to make. It was the first hackathon. And very many people had been engaged in this. At first, uh, me with my friend, we were not sure if we are going to win this. So we thought of how are we going to come out of this uh, negativity? Can we just go for positive change and then see how we're going to build it? Because this is what is needed and this mm -hmm. is what pioneers will like. And this is what is in the heart of each individual pioneer who is mining pie and wishes that one day I'll be with Ray United face to face without yep. failure, but I'll be paying with pie. Absolutely. So, thinking of that, uh, there was a very big motivation behind it. So winning the hackathon was one of the best feeling I will say. It was one of the best uh, experience of my entire life because we had several several uh, announcements before they came to uh, the winners. First, we had 18 projects selected. Uh, with these 18 projects, before they chose the 10 projects, with these 18 projects, they were to uh, get off some eight projects to remove that, uh, uh, maybe 12 projects. Right. So, 
getting into that a timeline of 18 projects you go to your brainstorm you're not seeing your project so it means that you failed yes so it meant the other way it meant the other way that if you are not seeing you can't see your own project so that's when we knew oh, now we selected among the 18 projects and then later we worked on that because we knew now we have the best project we have the best idea people are congratulating it and then people are coming in giving us hope and then yep. that we realize now here we have uh, we have to work on this and then sacrifice this and that's the time i said i have to quit my job and work on pi to go that's what i did i did oh, so, so so you've actually quit your job and you're working full time on pi to go two years now two years wow that, that's really really yeah. impressive really impressive yeah so i'm working on that and i know there's something in this pi to go Oh, yeah. I know there are some trust, there are some faith. There's a lot we, we, we are building each and every day, each and every day. It might, it might be a huge project on that pla on the Web3, on Pi blockchain. No doubt. You'll see that on the first year. Thank you. No doubt, no doubt. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Vicky. Um, I am, uh, listen, <laughs> my opinion on behalf of every other person that's watching, the project of pi to go is, it, I would say, definitely one of the best um when i saw it I, b uh, back in 2021 i was ecstatic i was like oh my god i love to travel and uh I, you know i love being in places and if i should i could use my pie through this means through this platform to do that then you know why not and so it's been something that i've i've looked at critically in a positive light and i would say listen I, I am i am definitely in support of your project um however obviously every project uh, would always have their own drawbacks and uh, setbacks and uh, some uh, hiccups along the way. Every project has that. But let's move forward to the next one, and this will be to Mahmoud. Um, Mahmoud, what's your candid take on um, Pi the Pi Network project so far? This is you now, uh, your candid take on Pi Network project so far. Mahmoud, question. Yeah, Pi Network project, its main uh, aim was to reach any pioneer any anywhere in the world to reach that not only technologically advanced individuals but anyone who wants to mine and for the uh, available resource the available resource they had was the phone the phone is the available resource that we have for this technology so far so thinking of that uh reaching to me where i am reaching to you where you are, having that trust, and going through this journey of Pi, of pi to go, building on the pi, to, pi Network blockchain. I can tell you Pi Network is a big project. And if I can put that sacrifice on it, uh, I can tell you this is a fruitful project that we should bank on and to work towards that. Purity, what's your pie? What's your take on Pi Networks project so far? Pi Network building a very huge project. Uh, comparing that every each and everybody is almost having a phone. Maybe in the next five years, that uh, each and everyone in this generation will be holding a phone, and they can afford sharing our resources buy, without hesitation. I think it's a wonderful to project. buy. It's all about okay. Please. Yes, I was trying to say, uh, by project is a huge project. Project, uh, comparing that we are moving to Web three and uh, where each and everyone will be having a phone or a smartphone. It is so easy to adapt the utilities that by project is building and the road that the project is going is so good because it will reach each and everyone, not not the one that is a. Uh, uh, techn technologically you know genius or uh, informed but we it is going to reach even the villages so i think the project that pi network is carrying is so huge and uh, we should really support it because it's gonna it's gonna bear good fruits for all of us right 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 uh, thank you so much purity now mohammed i can bring you in i can bring you in now yeah sorry one of correction is mood I'm sorry to say. All right. 
uh, what I was trying to say is, you know, Pi Network is all about, you know, trust and security. If you uh, look at the word bl blockchain, it's all about, you know, openness um, and about the issue of trust. Um, we have been working together with VT, Purity, and all the team, which, of course, we haven't, we have never seen each other. We are all, you know, on social media and we kept our trust on each other. We are working together, sharing all our resources without hesitation. And about the issue of blockchain, everything is open. Um, if you, um, let me see, if you take, for instance, some other cryptocurrencies, um, there's the issue of crowd. And though we have been facing similar situations at Pi Network, but it's kind of, um, let me see, fewer than the other cryptocurrencies. Um, all right, that's that's great. Listen, um, there's a lot we need to talk about, so I have to move forward very quickly. Um, the next one is um, sticking with Pi Network, the subject of Pi Network. What could be done better? Because, like I said, every project has its drawback and pitfalls and all of that. What could be done better about Pi Network? And this one goes to Vicky. Yes, uh, what could be done better to make this project move forward? Like I said from earlier, uh, we have developers who have been working on this blockchain, who have, who have been working closely with Pi Network to make the ecosystem stronger. So the consideration of these developers and how to improve these developer skills and how uh, they are going to interact with them uh, at an individual level, of which I know they are doing that, but uh, the, the kind of support the ecosystem might need at this time we are in an enclosed minet. And being in an enclosed minet, it means that we can't have the fear. We can only have some pie. So at the moment, we will see the support of, I don't know how they will work on that, on that um, having the, the fiat coming in during the enclosed minute or opening the, the network or having the, the fiat in the enclosed minute to support some progressive that we encounter on a monthly basis or daily basis in the development field as well as in the marketing field that we have. So as the project leader here, I have to sacrifice you know, what I have to do this, or the team here, the PC, they have to uh, agree to sacrifice themselves uh, so that we can uh, balance the two resources uh, to stabilize the ecosystem. So we have the same developers wor uh, working on this tirelessly. But now, uh, the kind of support that I said earlier, if the Pi Network can, because the value of Pi lies here, there's no way else the value of Pi can lie. Yeah. It's uh, on the developer side, on the ecosystem side, on the community side. The community side is the developers, and the community, uh, the individuals who are busy, like Ray, what you're doing here, that, that way we, uh, we lie. We are the ecosystem. We are here talking, but the, the Pi core team are not aware of what we are doing. We are sacrificed this time. So that's where we lie. How are we going to be, uh, to benefit uh, or Ray so that you can continue with this? How are we going to incentive, uh, give the incentive for him or Stephen? Oh, so that's the communication, yeah. But I, we hope that they are going to work on that because that has been there for long. But I know they are, they must be having a, a certain steps for this. Yeah, thank right. you. Right, that, that, that's a great point. Uh, I like that. Uh, Purity, would you want to add anything to what Vicky said? I think what he has said is, uh, is the real point because for sure, we are the ones that are building the value and we are the ones to make it retain the high quality of value because pioneers will be exchanging with Pi in the utilities. So if utilities are really supported so much so that they can be so strong and uh, so firm to overcome all the challenges on the way as they develop, 
uh, it will really be a uh, add up to Pi Network because the the target is to ensure that this project, uh, the Pi Network, reaches the goal of all pioneers, and we are the ones that are uh, are ensuring this is happening. So, the utilities should be really supported. That is the main point, according to me. Thank you. Absolutely, absolutely, uh, purity. Um, I support that. I do support the fact that uh, utilities need support, obviously, from the Pi Core team. Um, yeah, communication could do could be better. I've I've talked about it. Um, but obviously, yeah, we we don't know certain things that happen behind the scenes with respect to the Pi Core team. We can only speculate. So, me personally, I would say yes, supporting the utilities is probably paramount to developing uh, a um, sustainable. Uh, enclosed network. Um, Mohammed, if you've got anything to add to it, you could. You could go. No, I think everything has been said. We need more support. That's what we need. All right. Wonderful. Wonderful. All right. I'll go to the next question. And this one is definitely with regards to pi to go um, So this one goes straight to Vicky. But obviously, well, let me ask the question. And then, of course, Vicky will come in. Uh, considering the fact that pi to go is highly dependent on the success of the enclosed network, and the perfect timing um, of the open mainnet launch. When would you say it's convenient for the open mainnet to launch? Now, this is personal. So all of you have to be personal with this one. As a builder of the pi to go of a, of a project under the Pi blockchain, I will say, personally, with the pi to go team, with the pi to go project, we are ready for open mining. We can say maybe if they release it by the end of the month or by the end of a certain timeline. Yes, we will fall under that. We are under Pi Network. We accept any time they release that. We've built this project for two years. Can tell you we are stable. We are ready for the open mining at any time. So, but I can't say that it will, it should last for a certain time limit. Time limit. Also, the Pi Core team have some tasks that they're handling at hand, like KYC. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we, as pioneers, we can't see what is in the back, backyard, but there's something that what happens at the backyard. I'm here. I know what happens in Pi to go. I know what should be happening or what should be developed in a certain date to uh, achieve this. But in the development side. Again, you can fall to to timeline, so you can't promise a certain timeline, but work towards a, a certain goal. Like for me, I work towards the goal of pioneer to travel and enjoy in this crypto space, paying with Pi. But I can't tell you tomorrow you're going to travel. Maybe they won't be that service at your place, and then it's available at my place. So you won't enjoy that service tomorrow, but it's time that in future you will travel with Pi and try to get back to but no given uh, uh, deadline. Yeah, thank you. Right. Uh, that's great. Purity, how about you? Uh, Pi Network should, uh, according to my, my point, Pi Network should consider the request from all pioneers. So many are eager to to, you know, to to start using their Pi, others are eager for their projects to move forward. So according to me, when they consider it ready, they should release it. But according to our project, for us, we are so ready. But uh, we don't know what is happening. So whenever they are ready, we are ready. But uh, they should at least uh, show us some some remorse that it sh it should start as soon as possible yeah thank you um let me ask you a question uh um purity and then i'll move actually continue with the question so if you're saying that obviously you want the um open mainnet to start say by the end of this month and you're ready um do you think other projects other uh you know utility platforms which started with you from the first hackathon are also ready do you think so have you had any communication with them to know they're also they also might be ready you know say pie chain mall or 
or work pool for workforce pool or something about other project if they are ready or not uh i think pi network uh, pi team knows better they are ready i was saying uh maybe pi team could know better about other project uh i've not been in touch with other projects so i may not be in a position to say if they are ready or not at the moment right. but for us as pi to go we are ready at any time right so if we get onto the open mainnet right now and i want to um, say travel anywhere else i will be able to use your, your services conveniently and everything will go smoothly is that what you're telling me i can answer that directly because right. as i said I, I say this that if we have open mainnet tomorrow who is this service provider from ray's place that has applied on pi to go to mm -hmm. offer the service to me. If Ray is the representative, then that area is going to be very active and your, your citizens will benefit from that. Mm. It depends on how many vendors or service providers we are going to have at Open Minded. Maybe at right. Open Minded, we are going to have a lot of contract signing, partnership and collaboration from other services. Mm. So right. it will be late to know later after the Open Minded. But for our operation, for those who will be available on that date or before that day, then it it means that there will be services at some place. So, for example, if we have some service providers for a month filling up more than 200 countries, yes, we are going to offer the service to those 200 countries. R right. So, so if I'm not mistaken, um, if this is a personal question, so. If I'm not mistaken, what, what you mean is you are the equivalent of a, say, a travel agency, you know. Um, is that what you're telling me? You're the equivalent of a travel agency for a uh, Pi Network. Yes? Yes, we have a travel agency and also we are partnering up with other travel agencies to offer the services on us. And also, don't forget about the social media where you can travel and then take. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, all of that. Listen, um, what you guys do is vast. And j just looking at the 30 second excerpt, um, you know, tells me that you're doing a lot. So I have a lot of um, respect for your project. Mahmoud, how about you? So the question is um, considering the fact that pi to go is highly dependent on the success of enclosed, on the enclosed network and the perfect timing, perfect timing of uh, the open mainnet launch. When would you say it's convenient for the open main net, open network to launch? Well, I would say even today. <laughs> yeah, because we are we are already on mainnet. I can remember um, to, uh, December twenty twenty two, a pay to go. We we went into our mainnet. We had uh, a discussion just like this and nothing was done and a lot of uh, almost many of the projects you know uh, also experience similar thing as we are and also pike pike caught him if i'm to give them you know a suggestion i would suggest and what abu Bakr is saying obviously makes sense and um if you uh if the if you you know as a group are ready then you know i believe some other um uh, utility platforms are also somewhat ready and uh, i would you know say uh, and i'm talking about the ones that launched or back in 2021 not now 2021 is what i'm talking about so um listen i'm just here on behalf of all other pioneers uh you know ready to see what the uh, open mainnet holds for all of us um let me move to the next question yep the next question so what is the ultimate goal for pi to go services relative to enthusiastic pioneers now this goes to uh vicky of course and then purity so obviously you can hear the question what is the ultimate goal for pi to go services relative to enthusiastic pioneers giving travel experience to pioneers paying with pi in the crypto space this has never happened and this is the start of the revolution in travel sector. 
So we are, a we are revolutionizing the travel sector with the crypto, which is by available to any individual with a smartphone. I think that makes it clear. Right, right. So it's all about the fact that, you know, the revolution has begun and uh, we're using, we're going to use Pi to pay for uh, the services that is going to be given to us, you know, uh, during our uh, travel, even um, social media, anything that uh, pi to go are um, on at the moment. Um, Purity, have you got anything to add to it? Yes, uh, we have a social media uh, app in pi to go where people can post, comment, uh, like share videos uh, pictures of themselves uh, during you know travel and adventuring and everything uh, around the travel platform yes. we also have marketplaces where whenever you are in your trip we want to make you as comfortable as uh, as possible so we we brought a marketplace where you can buy things for example you have gone to a different country and uh, we want to make it easy for you to access uh, the commodities there, goods and services. So the marketplace in our app is ready to offer all that as long as we have the countries. So we have also a marketplace you can go check uh, uh, where you can post uh, your commodity and pioneers can buy it. So it is a it, it is a travel platform but we are covering all the needs of pioneers during the journey and even after the journey uh, from one country if, if you are inside a certain country you can be catered for all the services in one app we also have hotels uh, restaurants car rentals flight boats all those can be catered in our platform so comfortably with pi of course thank you right so um Purity mentioned um, your, the marketplace and social media. Those two particularly caught my eye. Um, for confirmation to those that are watching, you know, the viewers, the pioneers who are watching, could you could you confirm to me um, if the marketplace and social media platforms are live at the moment? Could you confirm to me, please? Yes, on the platform, we have a menu uh, given there where we've listed travel sites, listings, uh, ad managers, and other other menu that has been given there. So on the listings is where you will get some posted products. Uh, on these products, you can buy and pay with Pi, but you, can, you contact the, the seller directly via the chat fixed feature inside the pi to go platform. Right. Um, what's the ultimate goal for pi to go services relative to enthusiastic pioneers? Um, Mahmoud, this is your question. Well, pi to go is to provide a travel services and products for, you know, the pioneers. And also to create a social media platform for everyone, um, including the pioneers, to interact and, you know, make friends through your uh, travel activities and you know a lot of social media activities right uh, and also what we are planning in the future is to create you know um a multi, uh, let me make this um metaverse travel platform where you'll be at home with your phone or maybe your metaverse glass and traveling and um so maybe select the map and maybe you can select to travel to United States of America and you'll be available there. But in a metaverse world, you know, you can enter a shop, maybe H&M and select some products and pay with your pie. Brought to you, for example, if you're in Kenya, it should be brought back to you. All right, so the next, the next question we're, we're we're heading towards uh the last phase of this um discussion or or interview um i've got two surprise questions uh these are questions that you you know we, we're just gonna have fun with um clearly you guys are hard working and i'm really really ecstatic to have you here um and i, I appreciate you obviously honor, honoring the invitation 
the first question of the two now all of you would have to answer it i'll start in order so i'll i'll go from purity to um vicky uh, no purity to mahmoud then vicky uh this time around so first purity um no actually this is a question that's a yes or no or whatever so how much help do you get from the pi core team no actually let let um uh, Vicky, answer this question. How much help do you get from the Pi Core team? This is a question that somebody asked, and I picked it from uh, Twitter. And I thought, let me ask you because it seemed a relevant question. So, how much help do you get from the Pi Core team? We get enough help that we might need from them, even if it's not the all help, but there is a communication that we do encounter with them and then discuss with the issues that we encounter on the for them to set up on a good road for us as they said earlier they are rooting for us so we are in contact with them to for this hmm. um how about you mahmoud mahmoud you there Right. Don't worry. All of these, I, uh, I, I will ed edit them. So even if it's not great, I'll edit them. Don't worry. Well, uh, should I answer it? Yes. Yes. Well, we'll need a lot of help, but let me make it in this sense. We, we should be able to, you know, start our operation using Fiat before the fully migration of the open and I think this is the help we would like to get from the Pi Core team. If the open mainnet is going to take a long time, I think we should do this to us. Right. right. Do right. you get it? Yeah, 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 I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got it. Yeah. That's it from me, from my All side. Right. Cool. right. All right. Um, so the other one is now this is something that I know every pioneer has sort of heard of. So uh, it's also by PowerNet about Pi Network. Um, what is your respective takes on the Pi GCV? And I want you to be a bit uh, elaborative on this one because people talk about it. Now you are, you know, you own a utility uh, platform, so you're positioned well to you know delve into it so people have been talking about it uh, about something called the global consensus value uh, others have argued uh, their case that you know um it is something that should gain ground particularly in the open uh, in the enclosed network definitely not in the open network and um i have my take on it but here this is your 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 position now i want you to talk about it yes vicky yes i saw the gcv earlier and my take on it can't be on an individual or a, a project uh, side. I will say I can't say anything about it because I don't know the person who is talking about the same the same issue. Maybe you offer the service if you say GCV, and then uh, give give Pi to go a hotel payment with the GCV at a certain value of Pi. That will help. But now just saying GCV. And then I'm not seeing the help with the with that GCV against Pi. I'm the the, the builder here. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing it happening to me uh, to us as Pi to go, and we can't encourage it because we won't have any vendors around. Mm. Yeah. So the issue is on the service providers. Are they ready to offer the service at GCV? <laughs> Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Um, I I have my take on it, but I'm not gonna get into it because obviously, um, yeah, people would say that uh, you know when you're buying at GCV, it's nice, but when the, you're providing service at GCV, it's not that nice. So again, um, I look at it from a very uh, pragmatic point of view, and in looking at it, it is not um, practical. Uh, to say GCV. GCV, obviously, people talk about it as 314, 159,000 um, 
you know, three three hundred fourteen thousand hundred and fifty nine dollars. That's what they say. But uh, recently, I suggested something that maybe there might be uh, there was a probably misunderstanding and blah blah blah. It could have been three one four and not three one four one five nine. So uh, you know, there is a, an argument to be had over there. But hey, I am not going to argue about that anymore. It's all about people's opinions, and we have to respect that. Anyway. Um, anything you want me to discuss with you or the viewers or audience, please let me know. Um, if you've got anything to talk about, people, just let me know. Uh, listen, I really love what we've done so far. I really like it. It's been great with the community um, and with you, the executives, of course. Let me let, let me put your your um, names there. The executives, of course. So. This is the executives right there. Uh, all of them have dropped out because I think their networks aren't great. But hey, we've come to come to the end of the show, and it's been one hell of a show. I've I've loved it. I've loved every bit of it, and uh, it's been great. Um, I think their networks are not great, but I would have a communication with them. We've come to the end of the show, and I love everything they've done so far. Please put the comments in. Let them know what you think about Pi to go. I'm really excited about it. They're ready for open mainnet, as they said. And listen, if you're ready for open mainnet, put the word out there and let everybody know because uh, we think these utilities aren't. But it looks like the ones that actually established themselves back in 2021 are definitely uh, uh, ready for it. Um, I will take this opportunity to thank all of them for coming here. This has been discussions with pi to go executive i've loved it listen it's been wonderful uh, if you're hearing me just so you know uh this has been one hell of a show uh we've lasted mo uh, almost an hour and i'm really excited uh you know definitely as time goes on maybe in the open mainnet you guys can come back and we can have a, uh, a a better conversation because then we can talk to people about what they should do to get on the the pi to go bandwagon and uh get people you know um subscribe it and uh you know they're pioneers so they have access to all of the utility platforms so it's going to be absolutely wonderful and uh, like i said i'm just excited about what we do for the pi community guys uh take care have a great day and uh, the name is ray channels race united word is <laughs>